All right, welcome to my next video. I started another project that I had so much trouble with. I decided to abandon it for now. Uh, so I've, I've had this sitting on the back burner for a while. I'm not big into Halloween stuff, and it's not really, I don't think it was intended to be Halloween. It's just supposed to be a bat, but we're getting close to Halloween. I thought I'd make this. I kind of like the way it looks. I don't do a lot of Halloween. Uh, it's my daughter's favorite holiday, but I just... Uh, Never did care for it that much. But uh, anyway, I, yeah, I don't do witches and goblins and demons and stuff. So I uh, thought I would do this. I kind of like the way it looks. I'm going to try to paint it black. And, uh, it's supposed to be a wall hanging. It's out of the artistic patterns book. And if I can get it to hang properly, I'm going to try to hang it on the wall and have it dark against a light wall. Uh, anyway, um, I've already got it drilled. should be quick to cut. And so let me get over there and get started. I'm going to use a number three blade on most of that. I think I got a thin piece of wood. It's just a piece of scrap. Plywood would be nice for this, but that's about the size of an eighth inch plywood, a little larger. So let me get over the saw with a new blade and I'll cut it up. Well, I decided not to paint it because if you paint that, you're going to lose your veining in that. It would not show up. You need that light wood for that to show up against it. And then the paint could actually fill in those tiny little, little veins. So I went to Inkscape and I came up with this flattened uh, on the bottom oval. I'm going to paint that black probably and glue that on there and put a hanger on it. So that's my plan right now. So let me cut that out real quick. I've also had some problems with my saw. If you don't notice, the, uh, it wasn't blowing very well. Well, the, the bellows went out on it. And that was the last bellows I have for that particular saw. So I'm going to have to buy a saw. Uh, what I've done is I've got an air compressor there. I used air at my tires. I managed to hook it up and kind of rig it up to blow through that that deal so I could finish this job and I can work with that a little while to figure out what the next step is. Anyway, let me cut this, get it painted and glued on and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna call that done. 
got it on that uh, Pospaltic birch plywood. I'm going to put a hanger on it. I'll take a photo of it on the wall. Uh, may have some touch-ups to do on it yet, but uh, I kind of like the way it turned out. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. Uh, again, I don't do a lot of Halloween stuff, and I don't know if they, they intended this to be Halloween, but it fits because it's a bat, and, and uh, it, I think it's very striking, and <clears throat> it looks very good. So if you like that, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, uh, subscribe and hang around and see what I'm going to do next. Because again, I'm going to say I don't know right now and I'm having trouble with my saw. So I may have a new saw here in a few days. And uh, I may show that, do an unboxing or something. I don't know. It depends on what I end up doing. But anyway, uh, for now, I'm using off, uh, running off a compressor to blow me some air. It's just kind of noisy and bothersome. And it's just one more thing I have to do. But hit the like button and stay tuned and we'll see what I do next. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.